Hello guys and welcome back to another the next part part five of uh, building the chicken coop um, Well, I might have some help today. I know the boys uh, they're getting out of school here pretty soon So hopefully they can come help me uh, do some work today um, but Yeah, one, one of the things I want to work on today or at least uh, maybe today and tomorrow uh, we, we have we do have a break in the in the weather here so today's like 29 and tomorrow's supposed to be 32 33 so It'll be manageable to come work out here the next two days. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do today and uh, and this segment is um, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna finish nailing the 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 siding of the coop, and then I'm gonna see if I can put the uh, at least put the, the sheets of uh, in in the roof and then get them cut up to see if we can at least get some kind of uh, contain in there. So like. I can go ahead and turn on the heating and then uh, we'll be working you'll be able to contain the heat more when, when we're working in there in the next couple of days as it get a lot colder so yeah that's the plan for today so stand by and uh thank you for coming back and then we look forward to uh working here today all right gotta get to work Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness Okay guys, so we uh, have been working on putting uh, the rest of the side in So I did the front of the coop and then I just did the back. It's Kelly, she brought me lunch. So it's time to go have some, uh, what you get me, Taco Bell? Okay. All right, so we're gonna have Taco Bell today, which is good because I'm hungry and, and cold. So I'm gonna go in the house, warm up a little bit. Um, so when I was putting the, the side in, you guys can see most of the uh, the coop is wrapped up now with the siding um but this area right here you got here and then i have a little bit of area on both sides I'll probably like was that like four or five inches here and then another four or five inches on this side right here of the coop uh the only thing is i i, I always do it and i kind of just i bought my my wood too strict uh, I did the measurements and then I didn't account really for, uh, you know, you always got waste when you when you cut wood. So in a perfect world, yeah, you would have like the exact same uh, wood that you measure and what you uh, and what you apply for, what you account for to to put the siding up. But 
Uh, in my case, here I had an account. There was a couple cuts where I actually ended up having to cut a piece of wood to get the, the top of the window over here. Yes, see this this wood was a different sheet that I had to cut, and I didn't really account for that. And then I, I did have a leftover piece of uh, sheet of wood, with uh, which is too short for me to use anywhere else in the coop. Um, I guess I could put like, you know, different pieces here and then like put it together. But I'm pretty sure if I do that, Kelly's gonna say that that's ghetto. And uh, <laughs> she never like she she's not like me. Like I don't mind just putting things together and making it work. But <laughs> you can see she's laughing right there because she knows <laughs> she knows it's true. Uh, where I'm willing to cut corners and just kind of like, hey, it's a chicken coop, it doesn't have to be perfect. She will straight out tell me, be like, that's kiddo. So, <laughs> so I see, there you go. So, so yeah, for sure, I, I, I can't, I can't cut the corners. So, anyways, next time I go to uh, down in town, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy this uh, extra sheet of plywood that I need here, so I can make it nice and neat, and then uh, Kelly will love it. <laughs> And uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go have some lunch. When I come back, uh, hopefully the boys are back. Um, you know, Jay was around a little earlier today, but he took off. And then hopefully he'll come back and he can help me. I'm gonna put up the see if I can get up to put the plywood up on the on the roof. Um, if not, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's it's it is a roof, so I'll be able to lay it down by myself. It would be just more of like it's a, a hassle. You gotta tie it up, you know, cut it, and then get up there by yourself and and put it in place. It's, and it's always a lot easier when you got some somebody to help you out. Uh, but no big deal. If he does, he's not back, then we'll, we'll make it work and uh, we'll move on. Make sure that this coop doesn't doesn't look too ghetto for Kelly. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's lots of fun. And then, uh, well, anyways, once we have the roof, it'll be a lot nicer because then I can. You don't have to deal with my with the cold here, so it'll be nice. And I can put a heater in it and. We can work a little warmer. You know, I do have a couple of shows I want to build in there. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So I'm, I'm going to go have some lunch. I'll be back. And then when I come back, I'll put you guys here so we can see what's going on. All right. So we'll talk to you later. And while you wait, I'm going to have you watch a little video of uh, Tony and Lila playing around. So enjoy it. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, yeah, so lunch was good. It takes, uh, it was great. Uh, so I really appreciated that Kelly brought that lunch for me. Uh, it was delicious. Um, yeah, so I think I told you guys that we're gonna work on the, on the roof right away. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you uh, guys, I, I do need to work on putting in some uh, pieces of wood right here, from rafter to rafter. Uh, that's just gonna help me catch the, the side in here. Um, and then close up that gap in between the between the side, the frame and the rafters. We don't have any animals flying in or escaping through there or whatever. So I'm gonna do that on, on both the front and the back. And then after that, I'll work a little bit on getting the getting the roof in here. You know, it's crazy. Like even um, even I, I I almost got I got the four walls in here, and there is no roof. But even like this little bit right here doing a good job if you can tell down there I have my uh, my heater going and uh, even with just the four walls here it's doing a good job at keeping the, the heat in here so hopefully once we get that roof it'll definitely hold the heat and then it'll be that much more comfortable to work in here all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna get to work and then I'll, so I'll check with you guys back in a minute I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day 
The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago So here's where I'm at. I'm on top of the roof of the chicken coop. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I wanted to uh, quick take a little minute to stop here and uh, explain what I did. Uh, I know there was a lot going on in the video. So when I came up here, uh, originally I was gonna get the plywood up here and I was gonna cut it to the to the width, right? Uh, these are four by eight sheets. Um, but actually when I put it up here, I put them perpendicular to the rafters. And um, I noticed there's about 10 inches of overhang on the on the sides, and then you know I got like uh, six or seven inches, and um, and the front and the back. Actually, no, it's, it's nine inches front and back. Um, but yeah, I, I like I said, originally I was gonna cut it, and then uh, I really just like the way it looked, and I think that having that overhang is gonna help out with the, with the snow and the rain not hitting the the siding of the of the coop or the windows and, and the door and stuff so I think it's gonna help protect the, the wood a little more and then once we put uh, the shingles or the roof up here it's gonna protect the wood up here so um, I think overall if we do it like that it's gonna it's gonna be a good a good protection for for everything so yeah I mean it, it's it's pretty steady I, I'm pretty happy because you know I, I I am pushing over 200 pounds here so I'm, I'm standing on top of this uh, roof and I feel pretty comfortable with it. You know, this thing is not budging, it's not going anywhere. Um, it is shaking side to side when I moved. I think that has to do is because, you know, I am sitting on top of the the tires of the trailer. And uh, of course, you know, that the tires got a little bit of play. So you go wiggle left to right. But um, but yeah, I can tell it's a frame wiggling. It's not It's not the, the actual walls and, and, and the frame that I built. I feel like that's pretty solid where it is. And uh, you know I'm pretty happy about that. I think that's gonna last us a good while here. Uh, it's gonna withstand the wind and, and everything. Um, I guess like I never told you guys why I decided to change my mind. You know instead of going with the peak of the roof or going, and then I ended up going with one straight uh, slope here going up. It's just uh, you know I kind of thought about it. and I was like you know it's it's a top of an RV frame. If I drive it around, it, it kind of makes it a little bit more aerodynamic. And then I thought it would probably help out with the collection of the water too. You know, coming that, that's here, it's all gonna drain down to the front where we're gonna collect it. Um, that's a little insight of, you know, why I did it over here the way I did it. So what, what I'm gonna do now, like uh, when I put the plywood up here, all I did was put a couple screws in, the, in each rafter just to kind of hold it in place while I came here. And, and then I'm now gonna finish uh, screwing it in so it's nice and secure. Now, I don't have the, the rafters mark in here, obviously, I can't see it from the top of it. So what I did is, uh, I'm gonna take the, the the nails, you know, where, where I put them here, because I know like the rafters right there, obviously, and then we got them in the front, right? So I got a, a, left, a piece of leftover plywood that I had from when I cut the last piece that I had to cut it up. So I'm just gonna use a straight edge, I'm gonna line up those two screws, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, secure the rest of the plywood along that, and then I know I'm, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit the rafters for sure uh, that way. Okay, so just a little tip. You know, I'm sure you guys probably have better ways to do it. I just, that's how I'm doing it right now. And then if you wanna do it like that, you can or do it your own way. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna secure the, 
the rest of the plywood here on top and then uh, we'll see where we're at from there, okay? So, JJ got out of school and he's over here helping me out now. So it was kind of nice. So he helped me finish out the rest of the screws here. And uh, man, it's, it's good when the kids come help. So it really helps on your back. <laughs> you don't want to realize that you're getting old, but uh, yeah, my back hurts. I, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but you know, I got hurt when I was in the military. So a lot of times, like when I'm working, uh, I. I I gotta do it by sections, you know, I gotta rest up my back and then uh, I'll be hurting for like a week. <laughs> anyway, so it is nice when JJ comes and helps me out here. Um, so <laughs> there was this funny thing that happened when when Jake came up here, you know, I just they got done telling you guys how steady the, the coop is and, and actually I am pretty, in, I'm pretty uh, impressed that the coop is pretty steady. Um, However, I don't know if you guys ever had like those pop-up campers. You know that the center of gravity of this thing is just awful. And um, if you don't have enough weight in the front and you go too far in the back, the whole frame will tilt on you. Um, I, I, I did have uh, pieces of wood in the back kind of like for stabilizing to help us work so it wouldn't tip over. Uh, but somehow those, uh, when the, the coop uh, it rolled and it moved and when Jason came up here, the entire coop just kind of shifted on us and uh, it was kind of funny. Um, but I was impressed that even though the coop shifted and then you have over, probably like now we're talking about like maybe 400 pounds up here and the whole way of the structure which shifted and it was pretty pretty rough. Uh, nothing really came apart. So <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited and pretty impressed about that. Uh, but yeah, it definitely was a little scary. I think uh, Jason and I both thought we were gonna die, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll show you a little clip of that little blooper of it, and um, and you guys can have fun with us.
almost complete with wrapping the, 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 the coop. So like I said earlier, you know, we still have uh, one piece of the coop that we still need to wrap, but you can show them over here, Gabe. Um, we have that corner. That's the only corner that needs to be wrapped. Uh, other than that, we pretty much got the entire coop wrapped up. If you want to show them over there and show them here. So you can see we got our walls and we got our we got our plywood up here all um, installed already. Now, just that makes a ton of difference. We had um, the heater going here, as you can tell. I don't think you guys ever seen me without a sweater. And it's actually, I'm here without, without a sweater. It's nice and comfortable. I don't, you don't see my breath anymore when I'm talking. So it's, it's pretty comfortable in here. It's keeping heat in. Um, so yeah, we were able to, oh, one thing that we didn't plan on, um, Oh, I ended up having to put some lights here. I put some electric and I put two lights in here just because I don't, I, I, I guess it didn't, I didn't realize how, how, how dark it was going to get once we put the, the roof in here. So, you know, we need some light to work in here. Um, right now, these ones are sort of permanent, but I am probably going to try to do a better job with the, with the wires so so they're out of the way for, for the chickens and so they don't get hurt. They don't, I don't want them to be pecking at it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at, guys. It's coming along, looking pretty good. Um, we we still gotta finish up the, the floors here, do some shelving, and then um, we have to build the roost so that uh, so the chickens can can come here and lay down and sleep at night. So um, Jay, you wanna tell them what, what we did today? Uh, today from what I joined in on is we got to finish the roof and then we got to do the wiring on the electric so that we can get the lights on and that's what I was able to help on. And yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that's it's pretty cool. Just me and JJ here. I think it's good uh good skills that he's learning, you know putting screws and then today actually we did some wiring of electric so that was that's actually pretty good so I don't think you've never done that before right? No I haven't. Yeah so first time we ever did that um well for him we had taught him how to do some electric. I had him do the um, um stripping the wire and stuff and then I, I did most of the electric the the wiring the actual wiring of the electric but uh you know he's, he's learning a little bit at a time so eventually hopefully he can do his own projects and you can work with electric too. Um, but yeah, uh, just thank you guys for following us in our, in the, in the, our journey here. Uh, please subscribe and share our videos so we can uh, keep sharing our, our journey here. Um, one thing I was gonna ask you guys, an opinion, uh, me and my brother were actually talking about this and I told him, I don't know. You know, at the beginning of the whole thing, I asked you guys, what do you think? Should I insulate this or not? You know, don't, that, that, that we are in um, in Wisconsin, so we still got time. I mean, if we can insulate it, we will. If that's kind of like what what the advice I get, I honestly don't know. I I'm kind of thinking this might be good enough. It might keep them warm. You know, obviously we we do have the, the floor that's open, and then my my plan is that when when winter comes, I'm gonna go ahead to get some of the marine wood, um, like in, the treated wood, and I'm gonna cut it and then cover up at least this part of the, of the floor so there's no draft coming in from underneath and then we can do uh, so we, we can do a bedding in here so yeah let me know your comments what you think and then uh, subscribe hit the bell button and then uh, I'll see you guys in the next one